Calcasieu Parish has an updated animal control ordinance. The police jury recently adopted changes to eight different sections of the code. Alan Wainwright, Public Works Operations Manager, explains some of the changes. One of the things that we changed was the penalty phase. I uh, moved it from a criminal uh, uh, offense to a civil offense, which will allow uh, quicker processing of penalties. Uh, a more efficient means for both us and uh, anyone who's been issued a summons or a citation. On the animal side, we were uh, able to strengthen, we believe, or, or eliminate one of the problems with even our leash law uh, in the parish, which is uh, uh, the way the whole ordinance was, was, was written. Uh, essentially, the leash law was uh, set up to where it just the animal had to be in your proximity. And now when you're off of your property, the animal will actually have to be on a leash, which uh, in many cases, that's much more safe or safer for everyone involved. If you own a dog and are wondering about the tethering system, you're not alone. Rita Cavanaugh, Director for Calgary Parish Animal Services and Adoption Center, tells us more. Tethering is a big deal. Um, what we want to abolish is direct point chaining and that means when someone chains their animal to a tree or they chain their animal to a bumper of a car um, that is now illegal um, what we are introducing and referring people to use is something called a tethering system and that is a two-point system which runs something like a clothesline of course you can see it on our website an example um, but it runs from two, two high points, like a tree or a post, and there is a connection by tethering of the dog to the collar where it get, allows the dog free roam space so it can't get tangled, so it can always get to its food and water, especially the water. Um, it's something we're encouraging. Most bites occur from dogs that are on a chain, the end of a chain, and the most often bitten are children. So we're working towards the safety of people as well as the welfare of animal by introducing tethering systems as opposed to direct, direct point chaining. Animals at large is another area that may be of concern to you if you own a dog. David Markentell, Special Projects Officer for Calcasieu Parish Animal Services and Adoption Center, informs us on what you can expect if a citation is issued or your dog is impounded by animal services. If we come to your place and your animal's at large, you're going to get two citations, one of them for him being at large and the other one being uh, that it's the first impound, meaning that we haven't put him in our system, but he is in our system through a citation system, so he has to be microchipped just like he would have been impounded here. And you also strongly urge to get him spayed or neutered. If we come a second time and issue you a citation, it's mandatory that it becomes spayed or neutered. So there are some things in there that the citizens really need to read and, and look for. Uh, if they have any questions on any of the new ordinances that we've passed, they can feel free to give us a call uh, so we can go over them with them. I know that a lot of people are saying, well, we're not giving any opportunities to fix these problems. And we feel that ample opportunity has been given in that we warned them before we started doing it. We're still in that process right now. We really haven't started hammering on them and we don't want to. All we want to do is have the citizen come into compliance. That's all we're asking. The changes in addition to animals at large, tethering and cruelty, which now includes cockfighting, are citation. Unincorporated areas of the parish will be addressed under civil penalties. Hearing and appeal. Each citizen receiving a citation will have the option of requesting a hearing. Dangerous animals. Owners of animals deemed to be dangerous will need to provide two color photos to animal services. Agencies who offer vaccines and microchipping must purchase all necessary license and tags. Holding period. Quarantined animals abandoned after 10 days become the property of the Calcasieu Parish Animal Services Department. The complete explanation of these changes can be viewed on the Calcasieu Parish Police Jury website at cppj.net. Click on Animal Services, then Newly Amended Changes, or call the Calcasieu Parish Animal Services and Adoption Center at 337-721-3730.